Steve. I'm Steve. That's not actually my funniest stuff. Um, it's my second time here at Kickers. My other second time lasted about 23 seconds, which was a big improvement my first time of 17 seconds. My girlfriend at the time didn't really notice the difference, but I was a mathematics major at university. So I explained to her that this is six seconds, but it's a 30, 33% improvement. <laughs> and then if we just do it 10 more times, I'll get to three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> she was a women's studies major. I have no idea what that is, but there was no third time. <laughs> There's a bunch of Indian engineers here in the middle who I've lost for the entire set who are basically checking my mathematics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got out their calculators, but they're trying to do it in their head. It's been a rough couple of months. I just turned 50. <laughs> I have reached the point where I am so needy that I just asked a room full of strangers to clap for me. <laughs> for the mere fact that I haven't died. <laughs> when you get to be 50, you stare out into that dark, cold abyss that is old age and death. So I did that. So I did the only logical thing. I bought a Corvette. <laughs> a red Corvette. A convertible red Corvette. Ladies and gentlemen, you were looking at a walking, living, breathing midlife crisis. <laughs> and it's fucking awesome. Yeah. yeah! I so wish I would have had this midlife crisis 10 years ago. It works with the ladies. Seriously, it works with the ladies. I've gotten hand jobs from women I barely know. That's actually true, it's not funny. <laughs> 50 dirhams. More than once. I'm sure I had to give him 300 dirhams after. He's fading you, I can see that. I know, I mean, it was only 200 dirhams when I had the Hyundai, but still, it's so worth it. <laughs> we got any Brits in the crowd? Any Brits here? Hey. I'm so glad you guys are here. I used to think Americans are the most obnoxious people on earth. <laughs> that one's Barosti. <laughs> Trump, British, and stupid. It's not just a slogan, it's a way of life. <laughs> I'm married? We're not married? Yeah, no, I guess not. Excellent. Um, <laughs> 15 years? Uh, thank you. That, that was a little... Okay. I'm getting divorced. Yeah, it may have something to do with the hand jobs in the Corvette. I'm not sure. We're not filming this, are we? Yeah, we are. So my, my ex-wife's divorce lawyer is not here. Good, because anything you can say will absolutely be used against you. I got a daughter. I got a kid. I got a kid. I got a beautiful, beautiful daughter. I'm like 85% sure she's mine. I think that's pretty good, by the way. Yeah. Uh, you know the best thing about getting married, getting divorced after you have a kid? I guess you're not going to guess. I'm going to have to tell you. Is you were locked in for like the next 20 some odd years to the very single person in life that you want to see the least. We are talking about my ex-wife, not my daughter. I mean, I mean, I'm not a very good person, but I'm not an absolute monster. Let's see who's here tonight. We got any Germans or Italians in the crowd? Germans or Italians? Not at all. Excellent, because I want to talk about World War II. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about World War II. I really don't. I don't want to talk about World War II. Uh, I want to talk about this weird things they do. Anyone ever go drinking with a German or Italian and you toast and you like raise your glass and you have to be like... 
like this, don't blink thing, don't blink, don't blink. Because what happens if you what happens if you don't stare everybody in the eyes for the whole thing? It's seven years of what, right? Bad sex. Bad sex. Seven years of bad sex. I was married. After seven years of no sex, seven years of bad sex seems pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> Who else is here? We got any Ukrainians here? Oh, I'm Ukrainian, yeah. I'm an American. Thank you for your help with Trump. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I'm not sure what like our republic has come to when the entire future in our democracy depends on help from Ukraine. I mean, don't get me wrong. Genetically, Ukrainians are unreal. I mean, hottest girls in the world. Died of vodka and pig fat. That was a joke, you guys can laugh. It was I mean, seriously, I would so love to have a Ukrainian girlfriend. I, could, I would die happy if I had a Ukrainian girlfriend just once. Just one Ukrainian girl, I would die happy. My guess is they're as batshit crazy as hot girls from everywhere else. But I got a strategy. Get in, get out before, this, before the craziness comes. My past experience, that's about like 45 minutes. <laughs> Nothing? Okay. Uh, she's flashing her light in the back. My time is up. Usually I've shot my wad well before her light goes off. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Premature ejaculation. Nothing unfunny about it. 